Good evening and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning. I'm Modia Baranis. We're back here at a little uh, Jurassic Island here. Trying to get all kinds of dinos. We got some nice flyers last time. Uh, I got them all scanned this time. We were having trouble scanning one of them last time. And then there was an update to the game. And we have a new creature that has spawned in. The fearsome Boxosaurus. Ooh, Boxosaurus. He's covered in birthdays at the beginning boxes. Nice. So yeah, Boxosaurus is a, uh, a new uh, object in the game. He doesn't do anything. You just place him. Um, he shows up in your inventory when you get the DLC, and the DLC is free right now. So if you have downloaded this game, you can go on and check it out for yourself. Um, it is the Boxosaurus here. There also is a crashed UFO. Can we place that someplace? Let's place it next to the Boxosaurus here. Crashed UFO. How much space does this take up? Didn't seem to like where I wanted to put it before. Like anywhere I want to put it? What over here? There's more room over here. I flattened some of the terrain out over here. There we go. Crashed UFO. Oh, I wanted to place it. There we go. Aliens, man. Aliens caused it. It's so obvious, right? The UFOs have landed. Right? There you go. You have that going for us. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of just little neat little things. They'll probably be adding lots of stuff like that in. Uh, to the game eventually, but it doesn't serve us in our main quest. What is this? Delete or remove all objects? Okay. Well, that's not fun. I wanted to remove all objects. I want to keep the Boxosaurus and the, the guy around. Anyways, uh, so we got nothing else going on here right now. We do have a seed of mutation I wanted to lay down on um, one of the guys we want to get into. Uh, we want to evolve one of these guys right here into a different thing, right? So this is the guy we want to evolve into the uh, the cephalopod creature. And we need temperatures of 40 degrees, so this should be good enough. Um, I really don't know why they haven't evolved yet. I really don't know. We got in so many dinos last time that we couldn't uh, keep up with everything going on. Uh, we got a lot of spots where they could be, though. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully it comes soon. We're ready for it. The world is ready for it. I'll uh, take a look at the family tree. Let's take a look at that quick here. It was the, uh, so it's it's this Ophioid, uh, and then we're trying to get to the cephalopod one here. We need temperatures of 46 degrees, 36 degrees water temperature to 46 degrees water temperature in the sea, which we have just now. I saw 40 degrees where the guy was. So he's in 40 degrees in the sea. He shouldn't be in the sea. He's in the shallows. But um, we'll see what happens with that. If, uh... It works. So I think what we'll do is just advance time a little bit here and see what happens. Um, let's head back up to the macro view and just put it forward. I don't know what what animals are going to be going extinct here still or anything. Looks like the aglo fighting is, is tr struggling here. That paramestorian is pr doing pretty well. Um, let's speed it along faster then. Pterodon's doing very well. He didn't, uh, change apparently. The guy we were looking to change. Oh, we got Brachiosaurus though! Well, that's worth the wait. Okay, that we have to check out. That we definitely have to check out. So, he shouldn't be too hard to miss. Oh no, he's not hard to miss at all. Holy cow. Um, I feel bad that he's standing on this little pedestal here. We should get him into some, uh... Better terrain here, so he's not sitting up on the top of everything like that. Give him a nice little spot to hang out. Get some leveling done here. Go one at a time. I mean, it's more reliable. It's slower, but it's more reliable for doing this kind of stuff. Oh, man, he's beautiful. Yeah, let's get a little more footing here. Sorry about this, buddy. Sorry, I don't mean to have you spawn on a... Have you born on a, just a little tiny piece of land. You're better than that. You deserve better. You should ask for better. You should demand better. You're a Brachiosaurus, man. Right? Demand better. Get your Brachiosaurus is right here. All right, let's get the first person here. Take a good look at you. Oh, man. Long neck. Oh, can't even fit him on the screen. Oh, look at him munching on some leaves. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go, film on the screen. Absolutely awesome. 
He is the cutest one we've seen so far. He looks like he's made of like stuffing, doesn't he? He looks like a plush creature. His like eyes are just drawn on here. Like look at that face. Look at his face. Yeah, he looks like he's made out of cloth. Hi. Just a little kiss. She going for a kiss? Oh, a little too personal. Oh, there we go. Um, I like the music when we go into the underground here. Kind of wonky, but interesting that it has different music for underground like that. Because we can't really get there. We're not supposed to get there, I would imagine. All right, so we got a Brachiosaurus. How cool is that? What else are we going to get today? Uh, let's go take a look at our tree here quick. And see what we come up with. So... Where is he in the chain here? Let's zoom out and zoom in on the one that looks like a Brachiosaurus. He's way over here. Right here. Oh, we haven't scanned him yet? Oh, let's get him scanned. Come here, buddy. Let me scan you. Uh, why can't I scan you? There we go. Cool. Brachiosaurus, the dinosaur that appeared as the pterodon propagated. It maintains its normal size by consuming plants that thrive in hot climates. So, if the hot climate plants die off, so will he. Stands to reason. Uh, let's go get these things in case we'll get a seed of mutation, uh, if possible. Seed of mutation, a seed of evolution is what I'm looking for here. I think the game only will give us a certain amount of those because they seem to be pretty powerful as far as advancing the game forward quickly. Seed of Mutation again. Seed of Evolution! Awesome! Okay, so, let's see if we can get this guy in the sea to evolve and what we want him to evolve into. Uh, so, it takes this, it takes this, it takes this. And hopefully he evolves into what we want him to now. Alright, let's head back out to the macro view. And we'll see what happens. Alright, advance it. Ah, oh, the wrong button. All right, come on, advance it. All right, there we go. Slowly, it's your first. <gasps> Did we get it? Did we get it? That might be it. We got Ceterite and pen Pentasteria. That's Pentasteria is a another starfish, but uh, that one looks like a, that looks like a Nautilus shell. Might be a cephalopod of some kind. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, that that first thing had the shell like that. Let's get down there and take a look. This is the chain we're looking for. This is the branch we're looking for. Um, where would he be? Where would he be? He's gonna be way over here. Hopefully he survives. Okay, this guy, right? Yes? Oh, yeah. Cephalopod that adapted to high water temperatures. It appeared as diaphorides and uh, exlodes began to disappear. And that's not even how you say that. He's a ceratite, ceratite, and he's cute. He's cute. I can't really get up close and personal with these underwater guys very easily. I think. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of fluffy. Hi, bud. Someday we'll get to your great grandson, and we'll be very, very happy. He's pretty cool, though, right? All right, let's get back out of there. And. There's one other guy that popped up over here, and this is just another starfish guy. I'm glad it evolved both of the things that it, it can evolve into. And we'll, we're completing a lot more of the family tree today. New starfish. A star-shaped endo... ...ecnoderm. It leaves in very hot shallows. Unlike extinct ophiroid, it feeds on jellyfish such as uh, Catostylus. Most... Oh boy, I'm not gonna bother. Mosaicus. 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 Okay. It's good enough. Good enough. But answers our question of where we're going to the family tree next. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu here. And our library. And not you, Mr. Brachiosaurus. I'm not worried about your kind. You guys will thrive just fine. We need to cultivate life elsewhere. And we do that by going to the Cerorite here. Or Cerotite here. And then we look for him to evolve into uh, another hot sea creature. Uh, the differentiation of the Cerorite that lives in the hot seas. That sounds fine to me. 36 to 40 is exactly what we have right now. Uh, should happen in no time. 
And then we just got to get him down. These are... These are variations, but we need to get down to here next then. And this is going to be the cooler temperatured one. So once we get this guy going, we'll uh, adapt him to this temperature here. He's on Col Colpia, so we need to make sure we maintain Colpia then. If we want to make sure that this guy's going to be happy. And Colpia is these guys here. And these guys are like 21 to 31 degrees. So these guys will be dying off right now, actually. They might be at risk. Let's head to the macro view quick and take a look at Colpia. How's Colpia doing? They have they have a lot of numbers actually. We'll be sure okay with that. Okay, let's let's advance time then. And we'll see if our little uh serotite go, grows up here. Is it going up or going down? I almost want to keep an eye on it. I don't want him to change. I don't want him to change too quickly. Let's speed it along here. Oh, we lost it already? Oh man. I wish I knew why. I wish I knew why. Got the Pensasteria still sticking around though. Let's speed along. Um, Triceratops. See, like our stuff on, on the with the on the ocean creature end is not going super well, but I mean, we got some awesome stuff down on the big land creature end. Where is that Triceratops? Where is that beautiful Triceratops? Hello, Boxosaurus. Not here for you today. <gasps> He's right here. Oh my God! First of all, scan it up. Classic dinos. Again, looks so plushy. Consumes the shorter plants. And we'll give him a little more space here. He doesn't seem like he wants to be in this ravine here. Uh, so let's raise it up for you. Don't have to worry about falling down. Nothing worse than a... Uh, no longhorn falling down in here, right? Three horns? What are they called? Trihorns? Something like that? What, I'm thinking of, but if you don't know the reference, it's Land Before Time. It's long necks and trihorns. Tri tri trihorns don't play with long necks. I don't remember what it's called, what they call themselves. But what they do call themselves here in this world is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Triceratops. Look at that. He looks like he's made of canvas. Honestly, made of canvas. I love it though. I would take a plush one of that any day here. You gonna eat something? You gonna eat something? Have some, have some uh, plants. There you go. Oh, he just eats right off the ground. Beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, get it back out and uh, let's go grab these. Let's see if, like, see if we can't get another seed of evolution. Maybe if we, if we maybe if we get those guys down and we hit them with the uh, seed of mutation right away, or the water of life, maybe. We have thought of the water of life. The water of life supposedly is supposed to help stimulate uh, growth among the sea life here. So maybe we'll pop it into here and see what happens. So what does it say on the sea of life or the, the water of life? It says, mysterious water that boosts the fertility of organisms when plankton reproduce, it may appear to keep. So uh, just boost the fertility of organisms. I want this. I want to boost up. Well, it said as this guy was fading. Hmm. In the description. It said it emerges as the other one was defading. Right? Is that a factor then? Like you couldn't survive because there's too much of the other thing? There's too much of this guy? What's this guy's temperature like? They're like the same temperatures as the thing. This guy's like a little hotter than this guy. So we need to start killing this guy off and get it a little bit hotter out here, up to like 45 maybe. The Brachiosauruses might not like that kind of temperature though. Uh, let's see here quick. Oh, they're up. They're good. They're good. They're good. Stegosaurus is coming up next. Okay, so they can go, go a little bit hotter then even. Okay, let's work on making the temperature hotter then. So for that, we need to reduce the land a bit. Um, I'm going to start high actually. Let's start up high. And uh, let's lower this stuff up here down. And make it a little shorter here. Because we don't really have anything that takes advantage of these heights just yet. That's 42 degrees then. We'll have a little bit of height here, that's fine. But uh, overall, less. All right, and we'll increase the uh, temperature here by dropping this stuff down too. Take away some of the land. So 43, I wanna go to like 40, let's go 40, let's go 44. All right, 44 is good to me. And let's uh, 
let's let the temperature advance by letting it get out of here. All right. So let's see, let the temperature change here. Triceratops will be happy. Everybody will be happy. Triceratops is actually falling. Now it's going back up again. We need it hot enough that it gets rid of the the uh, one starfish and gets it replaced with the cephalopods. Colpia is doing fine still. All right, let's keep it going faster. Hmm. Stegosaurus is here, and Willem Sonia. William Sonia. Okay, that's interesting. I want to know what that one's about. It's a plant. Well, we got to check out these Stegosaurus in a second before they die off. Clupia is falling off heavily. Did you see how it just died off? We had so many Clupias. They were like 300,000. Now they're, they're gone. Alright, let's keep it going here. Triceratops is doing fine. Stegosaurus is doing good. Dimetrodon's falling off now. Let's get in there and put, let's get in there and scan this stuff here. Alright. Okay, so we got a few things to scan over here. First of all, Stegosaurus, where are you, buddy? Colpia's on the verge of extinction. We need that for our other thing though. It's the William Sonoma. Okay, let's get rid of that. And <gasps> he is beautiful. Look at this guy. Oh, he's floating on air again. You're floating again, buddy. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna put some floor underneath you because you guys are just not good at like being balanced for as giant as you are. Um, let's fix that for him. He's not floating. Help it out the dinos. Alright, now he's got a little pedestal here. We'll give him a little staircase down then too. In case you want to take the stairs. Take the stairs there, buddy. Not that he needs it. Oh, he's running around. Love it. Oh, get him side by side here. Oh, man. There we go. Look at that. Dueling dinos. Oh, that's a good one. Good job, guys. Okay, so... I don't know what to do for these guys here. Um... Let's see if we can find one of those, uh... Maybe, maybe we need to get one of those guys and put the, the water of life on them so they, they increase their fertility rate? I don't know exactly. Let's hop back out. I mean, to me, it seems like if we get the temperature up here, we should be good. Um, let's get the thing moving forward here. Are we starting to lose the, uh... Sepunctua. It's getting... It's, it's 44. It's holding steady at 44 now. Clopia's falling off. That's not good. We need them to hang on just a little bit. Your model light's falling. Okay, another flower. Nothing's happening with my other guys. Dinorthus is, is okay. That's good. We need them to be okay because we have other things to feed off of them. Nothing's changed with my uh, Ophirium. Dinoceratops. What does a Dinoceratops have? Uh, we need to go take a look at the Dinoceratops, right? I mean, all the, all of my time is spent uh, just trying to get the sea creatures figured out, and all we get is just the most interesting land creatures. So, uh, let's go and take a look and see what we have here for a... Well, first of all, get these flowers and stuff. Maybe get another level up. There we go. Level 11, plenty of HP now. Okay, and over here we have... What is the difference with a Dinoceratops? Triceratops that began to prey on small animals. 
Whoa! I didn't know that. He got unique color coloration because he came he became uh, an omnivore. Interesting. That's cool. Very cool. Um, where's his buddy? Still hanging over there. Cool. All right. Omnivore, omnivore Triceratops. That's so interesting. I've never heard of that before. Uh, all right, let's go grab these things in case there's a, a uh, seed of evolution over here for us. Normal recovery leaf and normal recovery leaf. Make sure we don't have a seed in our inventory still. We have mutation, that's it. All right, let's go back to the Clupia here. Maybe we can if, maybe we can have one of these guys adapt to uh, circumstances here. There we go. Yeah, they only have 700 now. Let's see what happens with that. And let's hit with him with the mutation. We have so many of these things. Let's try to mutate these guys and see if we can get something new out of them. Alright, I don't think that's going to do anything, but we'll find out. And uh, let's head back up to the uh, macro mode. Alright, putting it forward. Fastest time. Please, sore. Oh, are you kidding me? We got a plesiosaur! Okay, well, again, we can spend two seconds, we can spend two seconds going forward, and look at this! Look at this! He is so cool! He's right on the edge of the world, but man! Oh, so cool. It's Nessie! Isn't Nessie a plesiosaur? Isn't that the idea? Kind of? I think it is. I think, I think, like, it's supposedly, you know? If Nessie exists, I think it's supposed to be a plesiosaur. And small recovery leaf, okay. More seed of mutations, which is good. Alright, well, let's head back out and see what else we can have here. Speed it along. I don't know what else is going to happen this episode. Clupia's fallen off. <gasps> we got set it right back. We got it back. It was here for a second. I think we go find it and put it with a seed of mutation. Okay, let's do it. He's, he's here for a second. Let's let's get let's take advantage while he's here. All right, let's get back down there. Slowly but surely, we'll get our uh, our guy evolved. Ichthyosteg is on the verge of extinction. We're getting all kinds of stuff here, at least. Let's head over here and get this. Okay. And now we gotta find one of our new buddies here. One of our new cephalopod buddies. There's a Ceratite. Okay. So, let's try it with the Sea of Mutation. I don't think the Sea of Mutation is gonna be quite what we need, but... We'll get it anyways and see what happens. And uh, maybe we can get something that's going to be more stable for it. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that... Man. Alright, let's uh, head back out. Alright, put it forward. Put it forward fast. Uh, nope, that's not interesting. Okay. Keep putting it forward. That's fine. Giganobrachio. Giganobrachio. That's something new. I can see these guys from s from space here, basically. Uh, Clupia's hanging on still. They say they're near the extinction, but they're hanging on still. Uh, and... Man, we're not gonna have enough room for all these dinos pretty soon. The rate we're getting him? Oh, here he is. Look at this guy. Oh, he's even cuter than the last one. Because he's blue. Look at you. Oh, good shot with the with the guys flying around the background here. Oh, look at that. He's beautiful. So good. He's a good good boy. Alright, let's scan him up here. Come on, scan him. There we go. 
I have to be able to see the pink arrow, I think is the deal. If I, don't, I can't see the pink arrow, then I can't scan it. Uh, Brachiosaurus that mutated to live on the shallow in the shallows in search of food. Uh, consisted of the seaweed, so it, it was eating, uh, it's, it wants to eat it's stuff in the water. Okay, cool. Neat. Alright, let's go grab these things over here in case there's something interesting. And... Water of Extinction, Water of Seed of Mutation, and Normal Recover Leaf. Okay. Water of Extinction is not something I want to play with ever. Uh, okay, one more chance. One more chance. Let's speed it along here. Let's see if we can get the next stage of evolution for our little guys here. As long as they're increasing still, we'll be okay. Colpia's up to 101. 102. Catomorphodon. Is that something new? Uh, obviously something new. It looks like it is another uh, dinosaur. Catomorphodon. Okay, let's go take a look at that one. Catomorphodon's gonna be right in the middle here. Oh, look at this. It's another flyer. Colder temperatures? Warmer temperatures? Very hot climate. Underwear mutation changing his diet from fish to land dwelling organisms. So he's gonna go after the land stuff here. Very cool. All right, most, more, mostly mutations from the, the temperature changes we've been doing. There's certain species you can see are much more resilient and uh, and can adapt for a lot better than certain other ones. I'm looking at you, Mr. Uh, Ceratite. I'm worried about you. I want you to want you to be happy here. Catamorphodon is on the verge has been birthed. Okay. Let's say it's on the verge of extinction already. That wouldn't be right. It just got born. Alright, I don't think we got anything we needed there. No, didn't get it yet. Okay, that's okay. We'll keep it going. Um, Alright, one more time. Like I said that last time, but we'll get something else here. Right now. Okay, Ceratites are doing very, very well. Ceratites are doing very, very well. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus! Holy cow. Oh my god, as I said before, our dinos are are in full force here today. Holy cow. Oh, he's awesome. He is so good. Let's get into first person mode. Just take a look at this guy. This beautiful boy. Oh, he's a lot longer, smaller than I thought he'd be. UFOs and Tyrannosaurus. Oh, together at last. Finally. Oh, so good. So very, very good. Wow. All right, so that's cool. I mean, that is that is very, very cool. We had a good day for, for evolving stuff today. Um, I think we filled up a lot of our family tree. Did we scan them already? Yeah, we scanned them already. Um, if we can just get a seed of evolution. Wait, is this set when it merged in the cube here? All right, so that means we can evolve our Ceratite into whatever goes next. And what does go next? Do we have the right temperature for whatever goes next? Alright, let's go take a look here quick in the library. Make sure we're gonna have what we need. So, look at this family tree here. Very cool. And stuff is gonna branch off of this guy into something else over here, too. Uh, different kind of. St oh, this guy's a different stego, and this guy's a different. Uh, mild of mood ele elevation, uh, hot climate guy. And there's gonna be variations on this guy, too. There is a lower temperature. There's a lower temperature Tyrannosaurus, apparently. But man, we're filling in the gaps here quite a bit. Next, we need to make sure we're cultivating the stuff that gives us mammals when we're ready. Um, it might be that the temperatures are too hot though right now. Yeah, he likes the hot, he likes it hot. And over here, these guys like it colder though. About 40 degrees, okay, we can bring it down pretty soon. And we're gonna need to bring it down pretty soon because I think if we do have the next stage here, the next stage is 36 to 46, so the next stage should be pretty easy. And then after that, it's gonna change. So we need uh, colder temperatures after that. It's gonna be dramatically colder. He can't even survive in this temperature, so I don't see how they're gonna make the leap exactly without a little bit of luck. So um, maybe we'll have some deeper seas where it's a little colder possibly. I don't know exactly. Um, if he's on Colpia, hmm. Well, all right, hot seas for him. And uh, we need to get him adapted down. Well, he actually he has a survivable temperature down to 19. So we, once we have once we get a fair number of these survived, 
We can get we can get this guy. Well, again, this one survived. Once we get a fair number, this one survived. He can survive to 19 degrees Celsius, and then we can get this guy going um, at 24. We'll have to keep it right at the bare minimum of 24, 22, maybe, um, just barely. Cool. So. That is awesome, and that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. I really enjoyed this game. I hope you do, too. Um, it's just kind of fun to just watch the whole thing progress. It, it's kind of low maintenance for me, too. I just basically just go and look at stuff, try to get a good camera angle on stuff, and then move on to the next thing. It's pretty much in my loop here, and I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I really, really enjoyed this game, actually. It's just, it's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, Pokemon Snap, almost, or something like that. We're just like, we're just trying to catch them all, but via, via photos, basically. Um, and just taking pictures of each guy and just giving them their own profile shots and glamour shots, uh, dino glamour shots. So, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode. Leave a like if you do enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.